हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट आर न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज मैग्नेटिक इफेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक करंट इन दिस चैप्टर द बेसिक टर्म इज मैग्नेट what is a magnet a magnet is a substance which attract the pieces of iron nickel cobalt etc this is known as magnet the substance which attract the pieces of iron nickel cobalt etc is known as magnet magnet is of two types there are two types of magnet number 1 that is natural magnet and number 2 that is artificial magnet natural magnet exist in nature and it has no any shape but artificial magnet is man made magnet it has particular shape the most common artificial magnet we will use in our daily life that is bar magnet u shape magnet mostly we will use artificial magnet instead of natural magnet because we increase the magnetic field according to our need in case of artificial magnet but the magnetic field we can't change in case of natural magnet that's why we will use mostly artificial magnet in our daily life so most common artificial magnet is bar magnet bar magnet is a magnet in the form of a bar rectangular bar it is a rectangular bar shaped or we can say that road shaped magnet this is the shape of a bar magnet a magnet has two poles that is number 1 north pole and number 2 south pole so in this case of bar magnet there is a north pole and south pole of a bar magnet so this is the necessary condition in case of a magnet that is the magnet has two poles that is north pole and south pole magnetic field
मैग्नेटिक फील्ड इज द स्पेस सराउंडिंग द मैग्नेट इट इज द स्पेस सराउंडिंग द मैग्नेट in which magnetic force can be experienced suppose that this is a bar magnet having north pole and south pole so this magnet applies force on the another magnet this magnet applies force on the another magnet in a particular field suppose that this is the field of the magnet up to which the magnet applies force so if this magnet or for example iron pieces either we take iron pieces or we take magnet if this magnet or iron pieces are outside of this field then this magnet cannot be able to apply force on the another magnet but if this magnet or iron pieces suppose that i am taking here iron pieces these are iron pieces if this iron pieces are inside the field of the magnet then the magnet applies force on the iron pieces so magnetic field is the space surrounding the magnet in which magnetic force can be experienced if the object is far away from this field then no any force acts on the other object but if the object is inside the field then magnetic force can be experienced then the magnet applies force on the other object this is known as magnetic field this space is known as magnetic field and the direction of magnetic field is from north pole to south pole outside the magnet but south pole to north pole inside the magnet this is the direction of magnetic field it is outside the magnet its direction is from north pole to south pole but inside the magnet the direction of magnetic field is from south pole to north pole so we can say that magnetic field lines forms a loop loop means a closed path that is for example this is north pole this is south pole outside the magnet the direction of magnetic field is from north to south but inside it is from south to north so this is a closed path formed here this is known as a loop now we will study the definition of magnetic field lines what are magnetic field lines magnetic field lines are imaginary lines these are imaginary lines which tells us the direction of which 
tells us the direction of magnetic field. These are called magnetic field lines and these lines are from north pole to south pole outside the magnet which I told you. Suppose that this is a bar magnet, this is north pole, this is south pole. So outside the magnet, the magnetic field lines are from north pole to south pole and inside the magnet, the magnetic field lines are from south pole to north pole. Outside north pole to south pole, inside south pole to north pole. So magnetic field lines form a loop and these lines are imaginary lines which tells us the direction of magnetic field. So how can we determine the direction of magnetic field? Suppose that this is a line. This is a magnetic field line at any point P. We have to calculate the direction of magnetic field. So we draw the tangent here. And this tangent gives us the direction of magnetic field. As we know that this is a circle, there are so many tangent here at point this, this is a tangent, this is also a tangent. At point this, this is a tangent, this is also a tangent. At point this, this is a tangent, this is also a tangent. At point this, this is a tangent, this is also a tangent. So both are the tangent. So at point P, we also can draw the both tangent. These are the tangent. But we see the direction of field line. That the field line goes in which direction? This is the direction of field lines that is in the forward direction. That's why I am taking this is the direction of magnetic field. Note this direction. This is the direction of magnetic field. Because my field line is going in this direction. That's why this is the direction of magnetic field at point P. Suppose that my field line is in this direction. Now we have to calculate the direction of magnetic field at point P. Then again draw the tangent. In this case, we will take this direction as the direction of magnetic field because my line is going in this direction. That's why I am taking this is the direction of magnetic field. So what are the properties of these magnetic field lines? Number one, they originate from North Pole and end at South Pole outside the magnet. Number two, they form a closed loop. They form a closed loop that is from North Pole to South Pole and inside again from South Pole to North Pole. A closed path will form that is known as closed loop. Number three, they do not intersect each other. Why they do not intersect each other? Suppose that they intersect. This is one field line. This is other field line. Suppose that they intersect. Then at this point, there are two tangents. 
and if we see from line first then this is the direction of magnetic field and if we see from line second then this is the direction of magnetic field but at one point this is not possible that there are two direction of magnetic field this is not possible at one point there will be only one direction of magnetic field that's why we say that they do not intersect each other and number 4 closely spaced field lines represents stronger magnetic field and if the field is weak then these lines are far apart the meaning of this property is that closely spaced field lines suppose that these are the magnetic field lines there is very less separation between these lines so if these are the pattern of magnetic field lines we get that means the field is stronger if we get this type of pattern then in comparison to this these field lines are far apart that means magnetic field is weak in comparison to this magnetic field this field is weak so this is the point that is closely spaced field line represent stronger magnetic field and if the field is weak then these lines are far apart so for a magnet suppose that this is a magnet so magnetic field lines are closely spaced lines are closely spaced near the poles these magnetic field lines are closely spaced near the poles that means near the poles magnetic field strength is maximum and in between the magnet for example if we see here in this portion magnetic field lines are not so closely spaced as they are on the poles so field is weaker in the middle of the magnet but stronger at the ends of the magnet so hope that you will understand this topic thank you have a nice day